Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel and welcome to our short tip series. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about is the takeaway. How are we moving this golf club away from the ball and what muscles are we using in order to do that? Now, in order to get this takeaway started well, in order to get this momentum moving away from the ball well, we want to use the big muscles. You want to use your chest, your shoulders, your core, even a little bit of hips and pelvis. My arms and wrists are quiet. I'm trying to get this momentum started with the big muscles. I don't want to hinge my wrists, roll my forearms and my wrists. I don't want to manipulate my arms and wrists. I want to use the big muscles to get this golf club moving away. And if I do this right, it should move away on plane, on my shaft plane to hit high. So I wonder if I start manipulating my arms and wrists, I'll start getting off that line. But if I use my chest and my shoulders, keep everything else quiet, I start to get that club moving away a lot more on plane. We'll probably feel more in than you think. This doesn't feel like it's going out towards the camera, towards you. It feels like it's working around me. There. So I'm trying to use my chest, my shoulders to move my arms and club away as a unit. And kind of till I'm hip high. So it's the big muscles that are doing that. I don't want to start changing this. In this angle, you'll see again, I'm using the chest and the shoulders to move this golf club away. Very smooth, very slow. We're just trying to build momentum in that takeaway. Now, once I've got my takeaway to hip high, once I've let that club move away, well, that's when we can start completing our pivot and loading our arms and our wrists and our leverage and getting the structure of our arms right. How are the right arm folding? How are the wrists hinging? But this takeaway, we just want to keep it smooth. We want to use the big muscles. And if my, think about my spine, where my spine is right now. I want to use my chest and my shoulders to turn perfectly around my spine. It makes my hands go in, it makes me feel like it's working more in. But I'm not getting in here. My arms and wrists are quiet, that club will just stay nicely on plane too. But my, I can feel the chest and the shoulders are moving around the spine. Which means that my shoulders are moving on the right axis. My armpits are connected and continue to follow with that. That'll work on the shaft plane too. So it's my, how my chest and my shoulders moving the golf club away. They're moving around my spine. Armpits are connected. I've not lost connection here between my armpits. They feel tight. Right elbow feels a little higher than the left. Hands and wrists feel firm and quiet. To get that club moving away. Well, from here, you'll know I'm not getting pulled off the ball in this direction, I'm not changing or tilting my spine, I'm trying to pivot round it, round, round. And you can get used to this really quick, if you do this right and you get the right feelings, you should get really good at this very fast. So yeah, we want to use the big muscles, the chest, the shoulders, the core, and keep the arms and the wrists firm and quiet, because that's when we can start loading our leverage, loading our arms and wrists to the top of the swing, completing our pivot. So anyway, takeaway, we're going to use the big muscles, we're going to create momentum, nice and smooth, nice and slow, just getting the feeling for what muscles are doing that. 